hello guys in this video let's try boolean filters so we will create subscription s1 that is true rule filter that means it will accept all the messages and then subscription s2 that is false rule filter it will not receive any of the messages now guys we are in azure portal i have opened this topic that is first topic and if you scroll down there are no subscriptions in this topic so let's create s1 and s2 from visual studio now let's try to understand the code which we have written over here. So first we have installed the required NuGet package, then connection string to connect to that topic, topic name under which we will create those subscriptions S1 and S2. Then we created admin client using that connection string. And now here we are creating this subscription S1 which is true rule filter. That means S1 will receive all the messages. So we have simply created subscription options and we provided subscription name that is s1 then we created this true rule filter you, you see here that is true rule filter and finally we created this subscription s1 using admin client similarly we created subscription s2 as well but here we provided this false rule filter so guys now this code must be clear to you as we have tried it a few times in our earlier videos now Let's simply execute our program. See our debugger has been hit. Let's cross check if S1 and S2 are created. So let's get to the portal. So see here they are not there. Let's refresh. See S1 and S2 are created. Let's check if S1 shows true rule filter. Go down. True rule. See it shows S. SQL filter 1 is equal to 1 that means it's a boolean true rule filter okay similarly let's check uh, S2 as well so again let's go down see it shows false rule and again it shows 1 is equal to 0 that means it's false rule filter okay now let's try to send the message to this topic it should get delivered to S1 but not to S2 so I will go to first topic I will go to service bus explorer Now send messages, let's say test message and let's send it, let's close it, let's go to overview, and if I go down, see S1 shows message count 1 and S2 shows 0, that means that message has been delivered to S1 but not to S2.